What up players, it's War Boss Tay up in this mud. Today we're doing an unboxing of the Imperial Guard Regimental Advisors. And I think I bought this before they were called the Astra Militarum. I think they're now called the Astra Militarum Regimental Advisors. But um, originally, and still, you get them in this white citadel clamshell pack. And you know what that means? Wet palette. Awesome. Or get a wet palette depending on whether you use parchment paper or tissues or napkins. I just went to McDonald's earlier today, so I've got some napkins here, so I might be making myself a wet palette or a ghetto wet palette with that. But let's take a look at the figures that we get here. Oh, shipping and handling. The first thing I'm gonna look at here is this Astro Pad. And we'll talk a little bit about the, the rules of the models in game, but let's take a look. You can see there's a little bit of a mold line on the edge of his robe there. Got some flash, or uh, for those of you who don't know what flash is, it's these little metal strings that pop off of the model. Are uh, pretty easy to just kind of scrape off these. Um, sorry, I'm trying to hold it. Let's hold it still in frame. Let's see if we can bend his staff back. The tricky thing with models like these, where they've got a large, heavy end of the staff, like here at the top. The tricky thing is that if it gets bent in shipment or transit or something, then you're going to need to slowly and carefully bend it back the other way. So I love the, the, the hood, the cloak, the hood of the cloak is, or the robe is kind of covering his face. You could do some really nice effects if you paint him kind of like with his face and some shadow maybe. Um, really like it. I really like the robe is very simple. His badge of office is the staff that has the Astra Telepathica a seal on it. And so there's your Astropath and his rules in game are that he... Uh, let's take a look. Astropath is a Psyker, Mastery Level 1. Oh, so I guess he, yeah, he used to do something else. He used to affect reserve rolls, but now the um, Astropath generates mastery level one and generates his powers from the telepathy, telepathy discipline. So psychic powers, telepathy, and you also get four slot of bases. So we'll pop him in and does he fit in or are you going to need to do some trimming? Looks like he can just about dry fit into his slot of base. Can he? No. There's some flash at the bottom, but I think also the inscription you're going to need to either widen the slot of the base or scrape some of the lettering off of the, the model. Okay, so. Yeah, it looks like you can barely fit in there. The tricky thing is that because of the staff, you saw how, how easy it is to get bent and warped if you apply too much pressure on it. So what I would suggest doing is just taking a hobby knife and scraping the lettering off the bottom and or taking your hobby knife and scraping a little bit of excess off of the uh, slot of base there. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got my hobby knife and pause for just a second and we'll come back when I show you what I've done. Okay, so my solution was to take my knife and scrape the inner lining of the base there. I also want to clean a little bit of the edging. Oops. Again, whether you scrape towards yourself or away from yourself is a matter of personal preference. Most people say scrape away from yourself. I've been doing it for years though, so I kind of prefer to scrape to myself with the blade. And the guy slots in rather nicely. So I'll just take some super glue here. The super glue I use is hobby glue from Gale Force 9. And all I'm going to do is take him out for a second, glue the bottom of our guy. Like the good thing about these models is they have. Something I always look for is, do they have a good uh, model to base surface area? And this guy does. 
he's got the bottom of his robes there. So besides putting some glue on the front and the back of the tabs, putting some glue on the robes, the bottom of the robes, is also a great idea. Boom, Astropath. If you need a Psychery Master level one, which is never a bad thing. Okay, going to our second guy, the Officer of the Fleet. His rules are that he, or yeah, Officer of the Fleet may take a leadership test at the beginning of your turn before any reserve rolls are made. If the test is successful, choose one of the following Navy orders to immediately take effect. Uh, one of those is you receive a plus one bonus to all reserve rolls during your turn, and the other is your opponent suffers a negative one penalty to all reserves uh, during their turn, but will always pass on a six. So kind of both the astropath and the Navy officer's special powers from the last edition got combined into into one. So you take a leadership role, and then uh, if you if you get it successful, then that's pretty good because if you've got reserves but you're not sure if the enemy has reserves, then you might need to, um, you, you might be wasting your points. So it's, I, I think it's kind of cool that they have that as an option. Again, because the lettering won't let the base fit, what I'm doing is I'm trimming down the inside of the base here so that our model can slot inside. And then we'll take a look at the sculpt. Barely fits. I'll glue him in off camera. Let's take a look at the sculpt. Uh, the thing that I remember when they first introduced these models back in, I believe it was 5th edition, the uh, pose and this the fact that you could paint him up with like a, a white, like white trousers and a blue navy officer's uniform. I thought that was really, really cool. He's got a sidearm here and a little bit of flash at the bottom of the holster there. I'm noticing some mold lines down the side of the boot, but that should be no problem. Uh, the way I clean all of my mold lines, especially with metal figures, is that I take the back of the hobby knife and scrape wherever the offending mold line is, like here at the bottom of the boot. Use a back, don't ever use a blade when you're cleaning mold lines, otherwise you might gouge out too much. So take a look at this mold line right down the arm, if you can see that. All I'm going to do is take my hobby knife and use the back of it to scrape down that mold line and make it nice and even with the rest of the sleeve. I'm going to do that over here for the opposite side as well. Right under the shoulder part is a mold line right on the sleeve there. But look at the detail on the face, it's really, really nice very distinguished older gentleman look. Really cool. And he's got nice medals on his chest, nice laurels and ribbons. Very, very cool. And our last fine gentleman here is the Master of Ordnance, And he's the last regimental advisor you can take, besides the astropath and the officer of the fleet. And his model comes with a lot of flash on this backpack box. There's another piece that I clicked off already, but these two pieces you're going to need to clean up. Mold lines here on the antenna and down the side of it. Yeah, usually if a mold line is in a finicky place, then I'll very carefully get in there with the with the hobby knife, but you want to take care not to do that too much because it's really possible to either hurt yourself or uh, scrape away what's even worse. <laughs> Some people might say, I say it's even worse than hurting myself, is uh, ruining the detail of a model that I paid a lot of money for. Even a little bit of money for, you don't want to ruin a model by um, scraping or gouging out a hole. A little bit out of it. I love this backpack compared to other Vox units because it's got little dials, um, readouts. It's obviously based off of the regular Cadian or the Imperial Guard plastic Vox unit, which in itself was based off of the old metal Vox unit, but 
I love what they've done with it. So, this is it, and we're gonna take some hobby clippers and take my hobby clippers here and clip the box unit off. Shave it down. Ooh, high drama. And then we're gonna apply it or glue it onto the back of our Master of the Ordinance. So taking a look at him now, you'll see that he's also got this nasty mold line going down the side of his miniature and down to trousers. It's a tricky one because the trousers have folds where it bunches up before it gets to the boot. So in that case, I usually say, just go in with the, the edge of your hobby knife and, oh my gosh, sorry. Just go in with the edge of your hobby knife and trim it down. Let's go out a little bit. So because you can see these fold, the, the, the mold line is still right there inside the fold there. You're gonna have a hard time getting right down to it. This side is not so bad, it's covered up by the holster and it's also covered up by the bottom of the shoulder pad there but you can still kind of see it there on the boot so you want to make sure wherever you trim it or shave it down is a good spot for it. I've already taken the liberty of shaving out the inside of the base there so we'll see if we can dry fit him in before we glue him together. I've uh, played games in the past where I've used the Master of Ordnance and to great effect, but it's uh, a lot of the a, a luck has a lot to do with it, like a lot to do with it. So whether or not you decide to use him is uh, up to you. If you have the points and you're feeling you're feeling lucky, do ya? Uh, otherwise, I might try to invest the points somewhere else. So okay, so tactics time. For me, I think that the officer of the fleet, definitely a good call, because affecting reserve roles, even if you have to take a leadership test, is, uh, is a fantastic rule to have. Whether you have, uh, it's, it's made even better if you have reserves, like if you're packing a bunch of vendettas or Valkyries or whatever coming in from reserve, and your opponent has reserves as well. Having the ability to affect the reserve rolls is just really awesome. Um, the astropath to have telepathy, mastery level one. I've not really used psychers in this edition, so I'm really uh, interested to hear what you guys think of the usefulness of having the astropath as a regimental advisor. Has it worked out for you guys? Uh, in, in general, have you guys used the regimental advisors in your games, in your Imperial Guard? Because I've listened to a bunch of tactics, pod, um, talk on podcasts, I've looked at some websites like 1D4chan, I've done my own research and hypothesizing, and I think they might be the, the regimental advisors might be a fun way to spend some points if you've got a nice uh, shielded, safe company command squad in the back of your Imperial Guard lines that these guys can hang out in. They might do well. They're kind of they're they're kind of little investments that help affect your army. They stay out of the way. None of them are gonna be you know charging forward and killing the. Uh, Chaos Space Marine Lord in combat, they don't have weapons more than... Actually, let's take a look at what they do have because I'm not sure what they're equipped with off the top of my head. Probably something just like LAS pistol and bolt gun. I'm sorry, not bolt gun. <laughs> LAS pistol and whatever. 
Yeah, any of these may exchange their close combat weapon for a lad's pistol. So it looks like they have the Astropath, Master of Ordnance, and Officer, Officer of the Fleet have Flak Armor, Close Combat Weapon, and Frag Grenades. So you could trade in their Close Combat Weapon for a lad's pistol if you want. I don't know how useful that'll be. The Officer of the Fleet is armed with that on his character, and so is the Master of Ordnance. They both have that on their models, so maybe that's something to consider. You can do a little pew pew, you don't want your guys getting in fights, definitely, but there you go. The value of this unit, in, of this model, is that you get three awesome figures. They each look different. They, it's not like the Cadian special weapons teams or anything like that where they're all dressed the same. They've all got very distinctive uniforms. Uh, the Navy one looks like he's dressed uh, in a dress uniform. The Master of Ordnance looks like he's totally armored up to the nines. And the Astropath looks like the weakest uh, with his robe, but also possibly the coolest. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing video and we'll see you in the next one. Latest players!